Hey everybody, this is the Boss Commit to 21 Games here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Azure Frost. Last couple episodes we played as Mordecai, and, is, and we're trying to find more to do with keeping Zapdos in its Pokeball. We were in, we want to find enough leads to lead us to Mordecai's arrest by Leonardo Valcone, because Leonardo Valcone is going to pin uh, the murder of Elmer Patterson on us. In this episode, we'll see what goes on. Well, that was one wacky road trip. Oomph, interesting way of putting it. Hey, you have to admit, at least a little fun. Hipster cultists and let's line of cousins make us fight them. Uh, mostly, mostly I was just hoping for results. I'm just tired at this point. Jeez, don't be too sad to see me go. Uh, sorry y'all, I do appreciate that you traveled with me. You need to have a road trip pestering me. Keep in touch, yeah? Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> Mordecai. <laughs> uh, Louis. Yeah. Off of it. I see you're back. How'd your soul searching mountain journey go? Shut up. <laughs> no winning comeback, you wound me, detective. I got better things on my plate than entertaining you. Like the fact that I leave for three days. Got my home to find a house that's full of children. I swear, first my appointment now, this. Don't forget that your backyard is full of mammo swine. Alright, I'm done here. I'm checking out. Have fun with your little circus because Sylvester Lafayette the Fourth is out. Well, I appreciate you guarding that shit, Callison. Can you lead me in? Still, the courthouse. Uh, Luciano, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just. You've been drinking again? Nah, nah. Give me that. Hey, that's really good uh, chocolate milk. <laughs> Go inside, sober up. If you pass down here, the kids are probably gonna throw you in your river. Yeah, yeah. Sober up. There's a bunch of mammoth swine. You should kill. <laughs> Lame. Hey, I'm not old. Not hunky. Dark negotiations aren't going. Not hungry. Uh, you know what? Might as well check out. I can sleep. That's funny. I, I sobered up now. <laughs> Stupid bird. Everyone knows Articuno's superior. Luciano, you're getting a little too heated. Wait a minute. Well, Articuno sucks. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm honestly not kidding. I'm serious. Uh, shoot music. Cool. Sing me a song, piano man. Piano man. Eh. What happened to you? The kid came to my house. Asked him about the florist, about that crazy demon bird. And your response was to drink? Unlike you, pretty boy. I was a thick of things back in the day. Eh. Well, if you're gonna be so pathetically weak, well, you should join Lafayette. I saw how he was crying in his garden shed. <laughs> hey, hey, kid, how you doing? Okay, uh, Lucy, you smell funny. Come on, Lucy. Don't send back yourself for the kid. Go dry out. Hey. Hey, hey, your violence has got fun. Not allowed, Lucy. Get it together, deadbeat. I'm garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Tag. <laughs> you. What happened this time? Kid. F Flores. Just covered with double poisoning. You just covered with double poisoning along with the world's nastiest flu. But now you're gonna die of alcohol poisoning? Pascal, you good bodyguard. All the way, all the way. Guard. Bodies. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Can you guard my body? <laughs> Kinda intimidated. What are you looking at? Open doors on lowering. Okay. Alright, let's go. Yoink! Oh! Wait a minute. So you just throw down his head, and he falls in your clothes in a bit of a crisis. Wow, you have a weird way of coping. Mom's up! Whoa! Oh, I already forgot. There were all. What? Stuff, man. Sale? What'd you get? What'd you get in here? I went to the door, dummy. Now, I bought me some of that booze. I'm thirsty. I might be a dummy, but at least I know the dirt's retort sucks for real and alcohol. 
Well, you look like booze, and I mean, that's what the law fights are known for. My head injury is still healing. Now it's the time to go bend her and screw my hope up some more. Nah, now's the time to tell you there's a circus at the courthouse. It's because any of you can test the law enforcement a clown. Including me. <laughs> that's good. I mean it, man. The kid's on trial. It's big. Well, it's funny what the whole crowd in the area was all about. What? I saw a lady as pig. Uh, please get up. Talking to that news out about it. You need to get there right now. I know you ripped it in court before. Right. What in charges? You should more to Kaiko for that. Nah. I can't do this. What, what now? I literally just... I literally just promised Maisie that I'd tone down the Leonardo business. If I keep going that path, she'll disown me from the Lafayettes. So? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Lafayettes are my family. I'd be persona non grata to all of them, even my parents. Say that to my fa face again, bird brain. You know what that retirement policy for Leonardo Cabo is? Death. I'm 37 years old. If I don't get lynched before I'm 38, I'll spend the rest of my miserable while I can't life dodging death threats. The Leonardo's wait just as much as my family has to laugh as for years. But now, the people I consider my family all will be six feet under. So don't you talk to me about an understanding. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. How much is clear? Now kiss America, we don't want time here. M Miss Scottsboro? What the snot of your face? You call yourself a lot friend. And you, walking oil slick, you smell like a brewery. Pull yourself together! Hey now. Save the chatter. Today's your first lesson to attack Lardos via proxy. Okay, he's 13. Varen's advocate. Where were you? The Krauss? Yeah. Uh, and our team's fine. Oh, great. Uh, okay, so we have pictures of the Lafayette family. <laughs> oh, well, a bunch of them, <laughs> to be fair. Is that supposed to be still? N never mind. Alright, Mordecai, are we not talking tough? Trial starts now. Do you want the good news or the bad news first? Bad news. The bad news, I have no idea what defense we're gonna mount. Because prosecution disclosed their evidence to me. I guess that's not so bad. They're probably forging all this. That is it, as it is, right? Right. What's the good news? The good news I've learned that every great point you've been arrested. Speaking of which, why'd you call me? I should have been there for interrogation. I think they kicked me knocked out. There's a track mark on my arm. Ugh, they did not want me to have some me. <laughs> well, I can't, uh... I forgot Miranda Wright's right. <laughs> well, this is better than being stuck at the office. Ramira, do you know where my bookmark is by any chance? Have you checked your books, sir? I don't have a book, though. Uh, you don't have a brain, either. Ramira, have you done a full sweep? Yes, sir. One wire, under another table. It's not a coffee. I justly pay for our friendly friend by the door's next vacation, so should you feel that you need to wander off before the trial begins. What is her name? Is that good? Then? So I'm pretty sure we just had to wander off. Maybe shortly. Draw big shortly. Hey, uh, so can I leave? Naturally. I'm gonna follow you for ah security reasons. Can we do it this way? Huh! <laughs> Stupid guards! Um, I'm gonna be offended my guards behalf. Who cares? Quick! Go for us! Get a show else will make you feel. Uh You know what? <laughs> Pog champ. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Bug Jeff, is that right? Yeah, Bug Jeff! Hey, remember me! <clears throat> My apologies, Mr. Flores. You try to begin shortly. Uh, do, do, let's go up here. Oh, hi! Uh. Remind me why you're wasting your time with this farce, Amelia? Well, let the bird tell me that I didn't sell against that boy's lawyer. I don't believe he's interested. He ran away in the cafe. Well, you can't run off from the court now, can he? I suppose that's a fly in the ointment Lee didn't anticipate. His whole goal was to drag that snotty detective into things, as is his habit. Yes, Lee said quite the spectacle. He was really confident that detective would get involved. I 
Apparently, Lafayette sent some defending for the boy in the past. He did a stint as a lawyer when he was younger. A lawyer, hmm? To make good money, and the Lafayettes are a prestigious family. I'd sooner remarry Louis. Louis Roosevelt is a damn man walking! Ah, <coughs> uh, yes, my apologies, Lucy Shetty. Okay, I'm assuming you know him. Huh. Glad we try it, bow to chow. Huh? Say, and say hello to that turtle for me. Oh, sounds like Charles got to start soon. Okay. Yeah, the news a lot because of the fact that they, they essentially probably kidnapped the courier. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Honey. I sure wish some popcorn. That was gross if it's stuck in your teeth. Alright, I sure I wish some popcorn and some toothpicks. Toothpicks, really. If you're gonna get stuff stuck from your teeth, you might as well go for a floss. Make your dentist happy. I don't have a dentist. Neither do I! Alright, I'm done hearing you. Shoo. Oh, hey, when did you get here? <laughs> You've been out of the city for what? 20 years now? Really's changed, boy. He told me to try to understand what you're up against. Well, I appreciate the Lafayette family's offer of support. I do not like or trust them. I feel like ranchers do not stand in moderation. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. And it's important that your nephew is involved in organized crime resistance. <coughs> what? What? Why'd you do something so foolish? You see? You're going again blind, Sullivan. Absolutely blind. Why would I do something so foolish? How about why did you kill that man, Mordecai? I don't think I don't want it to screw the priorities here, Arturo. At any rate, shovel into the courtroom and get locked in the box. Good afternoon. My name is Just Hutt. I'll preside over the case. Would counsel please introduce themselves? Representing the interests of the city. Hawkstone, first initial V. Representing, representing Mr. Mordecai. Flores Gomez, first initial R. Sc Scottsboro, first initial F. Sullivan, first initial A. Arrain, arrain the defendant, please. Mr. Flores, under the Rio Criminal Code, Section 231, Clause blah 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 blah. I understand the charges, my plea is still not guilty. Alright. Very well, will the city give an opening statement at this time? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. The city of Rio finds this case to be an open and shut one, but to use such a term suggests that this will be a clean matter. When in reality, the acts perpetrated by the defendant, Mr. Flores, are truly indicative, indicative of the bloody legacy of violence Mr. Flores and his family perpetrated on the innocence of a review city. Besides burning down the place for the Lafayettes. <laughs> Mr. Flores has a long history of thievery, dating back to his childhood. I steal you. You robbery. Uh, Flip. Take that right, you! <laughs> nope. Can I leave? I'm not leaving. You will deeds if I retreat. <laughs> stick them up! What? Stick what up? Your hands! In the air! Wait, you be like rock, paper, scissors? Both couriers was yet another one of his targets. While there, we proposed that the accused came across a shipping manifest of client receipt. Or client receipt. Upon reading this document, he noticed one critical the things, the Leonardo's. The words came along long-standing rivals had commissioned a Pokeball from Patterson's. For a reason that Patterson's, a business formerly allowed to Flores, were now doing business with the Leonardo's, he stormed a store. You wanna go, man? You think it's up? Let's go, man, let's go! You think it's up? You think you can't challenge me? <laughs> no, please don't hurt me. Mr. Flores went his first little victim, Mr. Patterson, but was about to find him. Desperate to find Patterson, he threatened his granddaughter. Hey kid, if you don't tell me where the grabs is, the store will- He's <coughs> <laughs> called so like the rat. One sec. Hold on. 
Isekai. <laughs> Isekai. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Mr. Flowers returned multiple times to the store to train the girl. She eventually reeled the victim's location. One of those strike powers into the Amontillado factory. Use a strike dress atop the catwalk. There was a brief scuffle. Long leave the Flores. <coughs> Mr. Flores had pushed the victim off his character catwalk, whereupon he fell to his death. <coughs> Ugh. Is it just me or does this guy sound like just a stubby version of Luciano? Hmm, yes, let's see. Well, this sort of call our some efforts at this time. Oh no, he's been he's a kind. At this time, we'd like to call Mr. Dudius Discretin to the stand to testify by his attraction, Mr. Flores. We saw our Anakuno, Baltra, and Zapdos. The Beast of the River, your, of your citizenship. The Beast of the River, man, that sounds so metal. <sighs> That's dude. I can't believe he betrayed me like this. Witness, can you please tell us about your employment? I'm the destiny for bull carriers. Man! Um, part of the interruption, but I mean, how many as you want to use the word man? I don't know, 45? Witness, please refrain from excessive use of informal language while testifying. What do you say, Mr. Judge, dude, sir? Why does your job responsibilities typically entail? Well, Mr. Slimy Prosecutor, do I just manage the front desk? People bring in package to me. I need to track it. That sort of stuff. I see. Now, can you tell us about our cursor so you have to stay So, like, this pretty spiffy looking dude showed up while I was at the desk. Yesterday. And this person was the accused. Yeah, we're like, chatting about double ties. At one point, took the shipping manifest. He must have done some slight hatred to get it from the calendar or something. They left. Or until later, then I noticed a show of packages were missing. Let's rock, yo! Real whack. I was chilling, he was drinking me! Spiffy guy, I trusted you! No further questions this time, Your Honor. <laughs> Finally, took long enough. Now they can cross examine. Sullivan? Scottsboro, I spent a while since you last been in court. How come I need your cross examination skills? I'm a little rusty. The witness will look and make incriminating statements. Well, well it does seem like the witch press for more information. The witness has said something contradictory, you can present evidence to demonstrate such. To get further testimony, you explain there is contradiction in your statements. I mean, explain why they made that discrepancy or something. Don't worry, I'm taking notes. Hi. Are you negotiating? <laughs> As if. Nope, nah, negato <laughs> negatory. Negatory. Eh. Nah. Let's go. Third tree. There are three key statements that were made. We like chat for about delivery times. At one point, we took him to shipping manifest. It was hilarious to notice some packages were missing. Missing packages. But these missing packages, where they do, where were they do to be delivered? Same day, there are kind of some delays. Where do you need similarities between packages? Not to think of. Beyond delivery time. Nope. Didn't help. Uh. Delivery times. What's the nature of this conversation? What now? What was the defendant making small talk? Was he interested in having his own package shipped? Uh, just small talk, dude. He was probably just trying to, like, distract so he could steal stuff. Betrayed me, I dude. He betrayed me. Out of curiosity, what are shipping times like at Apple Couriers? Mr. Hawkstone, is there something you'd like to say? Why is it this seems terrifying? I object to relevancy, Mr. Sullivan's line of questioning. Response? No good reason. I'm just topic in this series that Mr. McClane did not steal any packages from bold couriers. Eh, Mr. Floyd is not a trial for theft. You're the one who chose to characterize my client as a thief. I find it necessary to illustrate that he was not a bold courier for the purposes of theft. Why do I sound the same as someone else? Do you have any proof of this, Mr. Sullivan? You? Witness, my client claims that you were a short one employee yesterday. A result, your delivery service was backed up. What do you have to say in response to this? Yeah, dude, that's pretty not controversial. 
What's your protocol? For when a coworker doesn't show up, are you sure that the packages are delivered on time? Uh, we don't. Really? So you just did co just come to a complete stop? You'll call anyone in. Would you characterize that as a smart business practice? Why would you keep the business open? It's that when you're unable to fill your work duties at that time. I object to Mr. Sullivan's badgering of the witness. I was merely being rhetorical. Rhetorical or not, you should stay focused on the facts. Diverting your attention to trivial issues is a waste of taxpayer dollars. Yes, many people see times are quite insidious, you know. Too much paperwork and number jungle for today's youth. So, like, we do our best to have to fly back and deliver that done. That's a nice, a nice statement. Heard you, if I ever heard one, you don't run a successful business by trying your best. I would know. I am a law firm. Witness, I'd like to show you something. This one, the apron. A work uniform? Yes, where do you believe I procured this uniform from? Uh, yes. Witness, my client alleges that you gave him the uniform. And you know why that is. Because he offered to deliver packages for you. Blah! Council forgets that Mr. Flores could have just as easily stolen the uniform, much like he did the manifest. The city forgets that we operate under the constant reasonable depth. It is alleged that Mr. Flores has stolen the past fact. And if you continue to slander my client's name, we'll see how well you handle being the defendant in civil court. <laughs> Enough, Mr. Sullivan, continue your questioning. So like prosecutor say, he probably just stole the apron as well. Could have done it when I was not paying attention. Like when I went to bank or something. Why did you keep uniforms like in the front? Uh, probably stolen your force. Well, you could have done what I was paying attention. Back or something. The back. What do you have in the back of the business? Eh, it's most of my packages and stuff, and there's a table. So we have our coats and lunches and stuff there. What you need to go to the back? I can't recall. <laughs> okay. Where did shopping more car was present? Alright, fair enough. I just stole it. Nah. Paying attention. So, you don't pay attention at work? What? No, yes I do. I'm a good employee, I swear. But if you pay attention at work, you will notice Mr. Flores stealing the briefprint. As well as the manifest. You would have noticed. Yeah, because he would have noticed. Really now? I'll just rest over an apron. And on what grounds? To me, it just seems like you're pressuring the witness. Mr. Sullivan, your response? I have a good reason. This is very important. Very well then. What if it demonstrates a witness was not paying attention but Mordecai didn't steal the apron? Back to shop, right? Yeah, because like, he would not see it. Witness, you said you went to the back while Mr. Flores was present. So, during that time, you were not able to see what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah? What were you doing in the back? Well, we had work stuff there, you know, or the business. Like aprons? Alright, alright, it's people like Small Talk. Then you offer to deliver packages for me. Deal the backlog. Yeah, the yellow fear, so I was like, sure, why not? I'm a host, but no, I hope you're bad for business. Public order, I let some run off the street to deliver stuff. Speaking guy, I betrayed you! There you go. You today are so fickle. No loyalty at all. Mr. Hostel, are you gonna chase after your witness? Your Honor, you can call the short races, I'll be much obliged. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Dying. No dehydration. <clears throat> you. I got bored of watching those two tear each other apart. Now you can amuse me. Speak, Arturo. Oh, please, you know my thoughts on Arturo. Annoyance, disgust, and frustration. Being disgusted by Arturo is such as a natural reflex that most recent decent people have. But the other two are spot on. Why'd you work for him then? <laughs> Just doesn't reveal it. Scottsboro. She's a pretty interesting lawyer, eh? Living Riverview history. Really? Yeah, Scottsboro's done a lot of different rivers of law. Defense, prosecution, lawsuits, corporate, you name it. And she has excelled in all of it. Although apparently she mostly handles pay it pens now. I guess a lot less hectic. Case? I feel I've killed the guy. Yes, the reality that it's all happening is still sinking in. 
Yeah. Uh, sorry, that's a little much. Even I did find that's about killing Arturo on a regular basis. It is so I can't believe. Well, that's not the kind of speak I had in mind, but okay. You can't use that same strategy with the next witness. The judge will be on you and the if they take your harassing the granddaughter to victim. Is that a good thing? Is that a good idea to have her? <laughs> I mean, she's like eight and a half. I believe I know what I'm doing. Let's hope so. If you get drawn in contempt, there's gonna be a problem. For you, that is. Ah, your protege could probably handle this without you. Ah, Kai. Let's go and get some finer details, don't you worry. Kai? Oh, right. <laughs> you don't mind if I call you that, do you? Very good. Now would you go stretch your legs a little bit? Let's be crimson in that box. <laughs> The trial will be going shortly, Mr. Flores. Nah, da, da, da. Follow me. Wit! Witness! Witness! I'm pretty sure that guy has a name, and that name is Desk Dude. Shut up. I'm pretty sure if you're voting how your lawyer's best would have proceeded by making a witness run off. <laughs> what did he say, Tuciano? Was that? Uh, nothing. You just really sound like someone I know there. <coughs> Yes, bond me. I must continue to search for the witness. If you refuse to continue the cross-examination, the proceedings will be somewhat muddled. He kind of looks like Luciana, too. Does Luciana have any siblings? <laughs> Can you hear his voices upstairs? Upstairs? Lee, I told you. I'm going to her gun on Saturday. We agreed that was my day off. And I'm telling you that I'm going to be busy with the prison this weekend. We need to exempt us, prove it. You did that kid from escaping. I haven't had a break since your precious detective started pestering me at the mall. Well, you antagonizing Sylvester were a petty sight is what led to all this, so don't go blaming me. You're one to talk. It seems you have a little son of hatred for detective's little thief friend. Is it more aggressive stuff? I'll manage your family the different day, but this is important. Ugh, seems like she's taking a nap. I've been told that I should think the riffin' would feel stressed. And right now, I feel very stressed. Hey, you could be on trial for murder like me. That's pretty stressful. Uh, no one has a gun to indict me, so I don't know what this feels like. <laughs> Alright, she's mulling up a tiny bit. I said tiny bit. <laughs> uh, can we go in here? I suppose Arturo is wandering around the halls. Uh, he's focused on the case right now. A oh, pity. The prosecutor's running around now. Ugh, him? He reminds me of me I nice to know. I see he doesn't sneeze all the time. Uh-oh, sounds like trial's gonna start soon. Double board, yes. Alright, do you say anything new? Okay. <laughs> Oh, what the? Okay, there you go. There you go. Ready, kid? Don't ignore me! You think to do this time, Sullivan? Will you be fine with that? You're nagging, thank you very much. Hey, it's okay. You got all three of us behind you. I'm not behind you, I'm roughly perpendicular. Well, let's go. That's one way of putting it. No sign to witness, Mr. Hawkstone. I'm afraid not. We're just gonna have to call the next one. Proceed. <laughs> What when it's scared off and how did it go? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'd be easier to break down that guy's testimony. He's too high to care. We swear on Articuno, Moltres up, those to be so river, or sure it's a chip. Articuno. Oh, oh great, what's this clown here for? We're natural we're naturally reluctant to break the victim's granddaughter in to testify. Experiences like this, especially being so close to disease, can be traumatizing. Her account, however, is critical to this case. To make them finish witness feel safe, we agree that Chief Alcuni will stand with her while she testifies. Ah, uh, I see. Play the sympathy card. It may get hard to question her. I'll be extra careful. The judge will be tolerant what I did for the last witness. You see what I mean? How old do you know the Chief of Police? I know he's a big marshmallow at 12 pushover. He lets the lawyers do whatever they want with the city. I'll be running mental laps around him soon enough that we'll go in for the kill. Wow, she's like, nah, that's not gonna happen. 
The guy with the blue hair came to it into the store. It started with all, he's a guy. No! He asked me about what we were doing a story. He also asked me about where Grandpa had gone. He was a meanie about it. Sullivan? Scottsboro. You'll be extra cautious, correct? Ah, oh, great, how far? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. The judge isn't going to tolerate you blundering around. Take it easy on her. What do you say? Take me for it, idiot! I take you for someone who isn't good about our chums. Let's get his way. You know, if Chief Alcar, you please remember Gage Mr. Sullivan. Uh, come on. Eh, there you go. There you go. I was like, I'm gonna press. There you go. When this is even made. So we're doing a store. He asked about where Grandpa had gone. It was a media about it. Uh, store. So you work in a store? Yes, I am Supreme Ruler of the Cash Register, bullying when Grandpa's around. Uh. Please don't cry. It's okay. We don't need to cry. Ah! Mr. Sullivan, that's it up. You'll stop this lot of questioning immediately. Alright. Store, Grandpa, Himini. Whereabouts? Witness, you alleged that my client was asking about your grandfather's whereabouts. What did he specifically ask you? He. Ah! <laughs> you know, no chance. Alright, fine. Alright, I think we're just putting fell here. There's nothing good here. <clears throat> Witness, when you say my client was a meanie, what do you uh, mean? Did you say something rude? Yes, he said Isekai! Um, Isekai? <laughs> Ouch! Always you're my court! Now! <sighs> Dang it. Well, wow, well, Luca well, was. I don't want to hear it. No, instead, you can listen to my plan. And what that that be? You have your protege playing stall games in a court. Well, I wanted my do some extra investigation. Oh, Ramira, if we can find some extra evidence, we can tie up a case from a new angle. Who cares about extra evidence? The deck is so stuck against the truth, it doesn't matter. Finding a technicality does. Hold on a sec. Fine. The deck is stuck against your slimy tactics, because that's what the prosecution was anticipating. We need to cut them there with new evidence. Ugh. And your so-called protege is going to miraculously find, miraculously find some new evidence for us. What is good as a fourth lawyer going to do? No, oh, he has been a lawyer for quite some time. He's a P.I. No, huh? Sal, I'm not seeing anything up there. But that's impossible. It is a stake up. There has to be evidence of it somewhere in the factory. Like, you're sort of, like, doing a third job of cleanup. That's for sure. He has put the Don Lucille in charge of cleaning jobs, and, that, but, and by that, I mean... Alright, you're clean. The, the Lucy will be like, Luciano, hire your useless carcass to the cleaners. I know it's fine to a guy or another. Useless lackey, go find a cleaner. It's a whole thing. Well, in order to hire cleaners, you'll just have someone call. Nah, cleaners are pricey, man. It's cheaper to pay for a single job, not a constant salary. Actually, that gets me a lead. You can keep exploring around yourself, but I'm gonna head out for a bit. Meet you back here. Can we do it? Can we do it from the factory instead? Sounds good. Alright, so time to walk around and outside of this factory. And I'll take about your problems like the Lenores are out to get you. I found a leader trying to kick you off you don't tie the very confusing line. You know about to think about how the kids are this in our major mob family. And probably now probably it's multiple targets back to boots. <laughs> you think that you, you would think like Mordecai's kinda of mad at him or something, right? Alright, let's go here. Okay. Alright, I don't think there was, I think there was like one specific spot we could check out. Gotta find the ladder then. Right here. It was here. Here. Swine up. Hi. It's a swine up. Not just any swine up. It's one of my ex landlord kicked. Hey, Tiramisu. What are you doing here? Do we do? Woo! Alright, one sec. There you go. Alright, so we have to go open the switches for this tier reason then. Neat. Yeah. Okay, I know for pals. I, I did buy a lot. Oh, I did buy a couple. Got a, I had a couple, to be fair. 
Oh, there you go. Woo! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was a bug. That thing is still there. I just skipped. I just skipped that. Okay. All right. Activate it for no reason and just go back. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I was like, it just what face through it. <laughs> that's funny. Very proud. So just in case something happens, let's go. Oh hi. I called this a cleaner. You're not special low to Leonardo's. I think they'll try to kill him before we pick their brains. How much is that gonna cost us? Hey, what have I told you I still access some of the Leonardo slush funds? As far as I can tell, they haven't changed your passwords. That's evil. That's business. And that's in their disguise. I found this from ideal for sneaking around. Now, let's get to work. I'm not seeing any traces of the cover up here. Nor here. This would be a good vantage point to see if the target was approaching the factory. But... Is this kind of an expensive joke? There's no sign of police to any sort of stakeout. There's no indication of blood splatter or a body from the behind. In fact, if you had told me there was a murder here, I never would have known. What the, the bo I guess he disappeared. Huh. Disappeared mid-fall. It's strange. Trouble seems to think the same thing. Do not send trails for her to follow. Yeah. What do you have in your mouth? Hey, some useful. Good girl. My pet. Can I see your swine nub? Uh, to your is not mine. I just uh, have a lot of swine nub following me around for some reason. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of them is an understatement. It's not that bad. So, the only person I near to her in our backyard. Oh, so I'm pretty sure Horde is breaking some city bylaws. Oh no, the big scary cowboys worry about me breaking bylaws. <laughs> Dear me, is gonna come with me. With her powers of spell, I'll become a great cleaner than ever before. <laughs> really? They, they grow up so fast! Stay safe, Tiramisu! <laughs> Man, this one just tried to live a life of crime, and you're happy about it! <laughs> well, I guess. Don't worry, detective. If Don Lucio ever decides to kill discreetly, instead of falling through this one of elaborate daydreams she has at the moment, we'll be sure to hide the evidence at your body in a very secret location. I will be surrounded by a field of flowers. Amira, I can't believe we talked to Joe Circus for so long. Uh, tell me about it. My head is dizzy just thinking about it. Well, so that's your sneezy friend brought us some evidence. And I think we can make some ground with this witness. Both of what we have, but this doesn't change. Up. We'll be careful with what we say. What the? Okay, that was weird. Transition. I trust you will pursue Mr. Mallow far more sensitivity than Mr. Sullivan. Yes, Your Honor. Farewell, we should cross examination. Alright, let's go. Nice. I'm like that fool. I'm not gonna ask anything to risk it. As long as I take a soft approach, I shouldn't have to worry about being penalized. I press. Small talk. Could you turn the corner a bit by yourself? What's your favorite Pokemon? What grade are you in? Um, I like Shroomish in grade 3. Perhaps I can ask her about her personal piece of evidence. Uh, we have the card. Oh, oh that card is for me. Does it have money in it? As far as I can tell, there's no money or gift card. But money's the best part. This card for your eight and a half birthday party, correct? Yes, I was going to be at the Pokeball Factory. He's a shot client of better life. Just bring up. Hmm. Yeah, this one. I'm gonna go up deliver packages while there's a cake to the Pokemon Factory. Witness, are you aware Mr. Flores was someone who delivered a cake to your birthday party? I mean, it was ruined. <laughs> the cake was. <laughs> really? Yes, from my understanding, he flew in there when the delivery service was running behind. So maybe that's why. No, let's not be, let's not be hasty with our conclusions. <laughs> Mr. Hawkstone, if this was about being hasty, you wouldn't have bothered with a trial. Aren't boys so annoying when they interrupt? Interrupt is rude, that's what Gra- Grandpa- ah! <laughs> I say, Mr. Hoxtel, there's no way to treat a witness who's on your side. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. Don't apologize to me, apologize to the witness. 
You have my most sincere and heartfelt apologies for my previous words, witness. I shall refrain from repeating such misconduct in the future. <laughs> Fool! Pick a pushover for your prosecutor, and you find yourself running into problems. Now let's see if the witness will be more open. To me, ask about Sylvester Steve friend. Witness, I know it's nice to discuss what happened to your grandfather, but if you don't tell the court about what happened with Mr. Flores, don't know be true justice. You're in grade 3, you're a big girl, your grandpa wants you to stop crying for now, then speak up. Okay. What well, are you going to say before Mr. Hawkstone interrupted us? Um, I don't remember. Well, you brought the cake to your birthday party, perhaps that's why you came to the store asking questions. I thought it counts much up timeline light, but she doesn't need to know that. Uh, so that's me, my was there. Hmm? He said I'll give them a new name. That would be Um just how's the name spelled? Uh P three L's three F's B and T. That's his new name. It's way better than Mordecai. Your name's someone Mordecai, not me. So you joked about him then? Yeah, a little bit, and we talked about the dangers of delivery. Will you call my client a meanie? Is there a reason for that? Did he do something mean while you were at the store? N no, you was nice at the store to beat her grandpa, and that makes him a meanie. Or would she know that? She did see, but she has been told that, right? No further questions. <laughs> Maybe. It's good, with two witnesses discredited, prosecutors gonna have to really rely on their last one. Don't count your torch, Ex Sullivan. Creating down around the surface central evidence was easy. Drug links aren't going to be more difficult to sever. I I think I need to go for another walk. Alright, what do we have? Good what's our confession? Yeah, my apprentice not threatening. That's a confession. Huh. Uh da 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 What's her mother? Mm -hmm. Get rid of the the case specifics. Yeah, I can go by myself. Woo! <laughs> oh, where I still have that. <laughs> Anything here? No. Wait, no. I don't think you had a character team, to be fair. A uh, pity. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh. Yeah, you were. You were about you were trying to sleep last time. Uh, I know it's her and re-entering the court. I wonder if she fell asleep. Huh? Um uh, I think she fell asleep. It's probably the best place to do it. Any old thief like me could come and steal your purse. Gah! I said Jenny must see me. Jimmy, what do you know? Have you taken anything? Alright, no, I'm innocent! And Mordecai. Yes, yes, I know who you are. Tell the little detective's friend, as well as the Flores. How's your first kill feel? Um, your husband kicked me in the head and did stuff my hands, so kind of painful. But now my pinky finger can bend all the way back. Here, I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> Playing over your cards close to your chest, I see. Speaking of your husband, he's a jerk. I'm dumb and I don't like him. A mutual feeling. And um, speaking of your other husband, I saw you drop this yesterday. I swear I didn't steal it. My baby photo. But what's the catch? You wanted to go to her gut thingy. The regatta, yes. He can go regatta because Leon is going to be busy that day. He's going to be busy because he wants to make sure I can't escape prison. But if I'm not convicted, there's a reason for to go to the prison. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Anything he considers you an idiot. Alright, boy, what'd you like to me to do? What if we bribe the judge? Probably less likely to penalize. No. Tamper. I was probably doing much with. Didn't want to object as much. Yes. That prosecutor guy. He probably is. He's a little artist, right? Vincenzo has been quite unhandy at putting away some our more irritating enemies. Even he is spineless. So you can probably talk to him, miss what his notes are the evidence he has? If you can do that, I'll give you the... Uh, where to go? I single-handedly run the city's form most criminal organization. You'd think I wouldn't know how to pick pockets. For not now, I want things for you. She's gonna buy about this. <laughs> oh, she probably does not want... Does not want me to... Does not want to be having Leo just do stuff. <laughs> All right, waiting room. Hmm. The odds are very high that the last witness is going to be Chief of Police himself, as he was the arresting officer. 
which I'll let you back in, and Mordecai unless you would handle cross examination, you have to treat more delicately than a girl. What do you mean if the kid wants me to? Of course, you're a lawyer. You only held us, right? Of course. See? Um, Arturo, Miss Scott's brother has a point. Not only is the chief of police, but he's a Don Leonardo's. Of course he's a Leonardo, the Tarly- Did you say? Yes, he's a Don. I it's one of the so sort of, sort of secret, secrets. Sort of not. A lot of cringe will send you leak now. <laughs> oh, Jazz just explains everything. Yet again, just sitting the Leonardo so attacking the Flores. Well, not this time. Mordecai? Yeah? I don't try to give you the brush off, but do you really want to cross examine Leonardo? Um, yeah, of course, he's my family's lawyer and stuff. So it's up to you. Yeah. I stick with Tara. Things are probably a lot more difficult. Just more likely to penalize him, so I want to want to do. Yes. You want to trust it. You want to trust in him, don't you? <laughs> trust? As if. I'm my way to mess with the prosecution's case. Whether they do, it doesn't matter. I could trust Sylvester or not, or to not be there when I need help. I could trust Luciana to send me up to, send me up to take the fall death jobs he sends me on. <laughs> That's about it. God, he's depressed. <laughs> uh, Chief of Police, Leonardo Valcone is the final witness at the prosecution of a call. As arresting officer Valcone saw Mr. Flores killed the victim. Like the previous two witnesses, Chief Alcone's testimony is not circumstantial. So the count direct evidence that the accused committed this heinous crime. A crime that left a child who had, been, who, who had already been orphaned by a forest family further parentless. Chief Alcone, the first thing I want to ask is why you were on the field. I believe you all understand your position should be more administrative than practical. I do check on my officers in the field from time to time. Especially investigators, if they have a difficult case. In this situation, however, the accused was unknown to me. This is because the accused long rap sheet and history of warning arrest, correct? Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Flo's previous criminal record, much of which consists of you offenses, was ex recently expunged. It was every it was worth every penny, too. Why are you objecting? This doesn't matter! These make you like for the kid to characterize him. Does sound it's grounds for objection. What are you doing to irritate the judge? I'll agree to your central point, Mr. Sullivan, after you wait to be heard, ready to shout an objection. <laughs> wow, Sullivan. <laughs> and Mr. Hush, you should consider your white choice work carefully as well. Uh, yeah, I, Yeah, let's have it again. I guess the misplaced no mention that it was expunged. Sweeney certainly sees you slipping up. He sounds more of a gangster than a prosecutor. <laughs> In your own words, can you recount what you saw Mr. Flores do? There have been reports of strange activity coming from the Montiato factory. I had recently lost Mordecai Flores. Why? Although I didn't realize that was true, Dunning was at the time. Wait, why? Flores and Patterson appear to have been locked in some kind of fight. Mr. Flores used the momentum of Mr. Patterson's charge toward knock the man off the platform. The victim managed to hold onto a ledge, but the victim proceeded to free his grip from the platform. Long live the Flores. It was then that I made my arrest. <laughs> I'm late. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, hmm. Uh, just check. Just check it around. Oh, hi, you two. Yeah, they're two. They're here. The nurse is here. That's a, that's a reporter, isn't it? All right, we got a bunch of gangsters. People, let's go. There are three key statements discussing Leonardo made. Your identity at the time does not matter. Patterson and Peters have come up to kind of fight. Those are the main arrests. The arrest. So you arrested Mr. Flores. Correct. And you did so only after he supposedly killed the victim? Yes. So you're telling me that you stood there and waited for someone to die before Barney to take action. He had deliberately chose not to interfere. Well, I'm hard to describe it that way. I, I couldn't know what threat Mr. Flores had probably presented to the victim and I. Yeah, Pokemon a single butterfly knife when I arrested him. Where he needs Pokemon at the very end of Flora's family Zapdos. No. Zapdos, naturally, would be the most dangerous thing that Mr. Flores could be carrying. But he was not using it, he did not have it in his person. So, despite that being evident, you chose to stand by and allow Mr. Flores to allegedly kill someone. 
Your Honor, I object to when Mr. Sullivan is choosing to address Chief Alcone. He should at least have modicum of respect. This isn't like the girl. If the city's chief police can't handle answering question, answering the difficult questions, then maybe he shouldn't be in charge. Also, he's a cop. <laughs> Mr. Hawkstone is correct. Watch your tone, Mr. Sullivan. This is for any warning, Mr. Sullivan. You will not get another chance. Freak you, Judge! <sighs> I mean, he's a cop. <laughs> Alright. You expect him to do his job anyway. <laughs> Uh, tried any piece of fight. And I rest. Uh huh. The fight. What do you mean, my. some kind of fight? Hmm? What do you think he's following that sort of friendly act? My fight, do you mean Pokemon battle or a physical struggle between my client and alleged victim? A alleged victim? Stop avoiding the question. Ah, uh, well, it was really physical, although I know some signs of Pokemon battle before with that. Water, bits of stone, and the like. Chief Falcone, I'm sure you're familiar with this sort of knowledge. What is the Leonardo family known for owning? Family, the steward speaking has been ally of Articuno. And Lafayette, Moltres, and Zapdos with the Flores, before you ask me that. Right, so my client is biologically a member of the Flores family. By right, you should control Zapdos. Correct? Now, from my understanding of personal experience, all duties families have, use your respected bird to protect their status and attack their enemies. Lafayette's right in front of burning their opposition, <laughs> even non-compliant family members alive. If the Lonards wanted a quick death, they would merely have Articuno impel their enemy. Although I recall the Lonards once sealed the floor safe house and never melt ice, they all did commit to asphyxiate. Ugh. So, in following this pattern, why didn't my client call upon Zapdos to kill the victim? Because it would be easy to kind of kill the victim with a, with a bird yeah, with a knife. <laughs> If he somebody takes sleep planned this out, allegedly a costume of Nan's granddaughter, and a business he was using, this was a planned crime. If it was planned, he would have noticed an engaged physical fight with someone double his weight. Yeah, because like that, just DB a 10 if he intended to do it, so. You're alleging that my client took on someone twice his weight in a physical fight, when he had all the time and resources in the world to plan a death with no personal physical risk to himself. Do you have any more follow response to this? Well, I believe Mr. Hawkstone is the one making the alleged angel of Christ. I merely present my testimony in a clearest manner I can. Your testimony is full of holes. Mr. Sullivan, I ask you please watch your tongue. Hmm, first man is warm test was full of holes, so I'm gonna destroy lots of Flores. Oh, great. <laughs> Speak as keep a calm with Leonardo's testimony. The lack of direct evidence. The lack of direct evidence in this case is truly outstanding. Take the instance with the carrier, for example. He meant that Mr. Flores helped with the packages. At no point did my client steal anything or terrorize the worker, like you alleged. In fact, we more evidence to back up that version of Fetz than yours, which you can see with. The apron. Yeah. The apron that Mr. Flores wore while delivering the packages. And don't give me Starner Girl's testimony. What did you do, fear the lines before the sham of the trial? That's why you're standing with him, right? I'm not going to defy that one answer. How about you dignify it with some direct evidence that relates Mr. Flores to this case? Your witnesses are worthless. Your testimony is worthless. Where's the autopsy report, huh? The death certificate. Did you lose any way to the donut shop? Again, I'm glad it's a matter you should take your prosecution rather than me. Ye what do you think you're doing? But out. Marika doesn't need and want your help. Alright, pal. Where is it? Well... Um, you see, the thing about the palace, uh, well, you know how it is down at the corner's office with the bodies all lined up. There's a lot of plain talk to you, you know? You see, you won't see it like the big taxes. It tells them to keep the place afloat, so now they staffed it overworked. Um, tell your lack of despair us this useless babbling. I know the real reason behind this farce. The reason you've gone after Mordecai. The reason he's so intent persecuting with your prophetic excuse for the case is that he's a Flores. And meanwhile, you're nothing but a filthy load out of yourself. What the f- Sullivan, you can't just- Ignore the obvious right in front of me. In the ground. Maybe the rest of this says what you people call a city is one stick its collective head under the sand. <laughs> if that's the case, then why not me? What do you think this will accomplish? Oh, they'll get sick of you one day, and for good reason. 
the cause of the city's organized crime and the person that's supposed to prevent it are one and the same. Oh my god, he's freaking mad. Oh, hey. Um, should this be wanted? I, be I believe my opposition would have already done so. They have revealed belief to revealing that knowledge should probably be effective. What opposition? Well, if I asked, the worst Lenardo's behave to bed for them. It makes it easier to hide their own and save a pass behind a veneer of stupid, tourist friendly ranchers. <laughs> the Lafayette and Lenardo's have all I took together in the past. And now share a decades long peace. It's, it's been immediately rocky at times, but now I need to decide to decide my bloodshed. As for your other point, I believe you'd be a better off asking my wife about anything Leonardo related. After my brother Raphael was murdered, she began managing an estate, not me. Um, way, way out, her like that. So you're circumventing the blame based on a technicality. Funny, I'm gonna accuse you of doing the same thing. Rather than reasonable doubt, your attempt to get into this case thrown out based on a conflict of interest. That's a good thing right there. Well, a reasonable doubt. It's obvious you sent Mordecai because you want him out of the way. You have hardly any direct evidence. But then again, you didn't have the time to forge it with how fast the trial came. This is the second time you did it, dude. As it stands, this is a very productive line discussion. <laughs> I believe you lose what Justin had to say on the matter. I must say, I'm completely lost for words. Quite frankly, I was disappointed when you took the helm again. At least Miss Scott's was capable of cross examining in a civilized manner. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna be nice. They're liars! <laughs> then, you made the decision to level your unnecessary accusations at Chief Alcone. Unnecessary is the truth. We're not here to discuss with his identity. We heard determine whether or not your client, Mr. Flores, is guilty of murder of Elmer Patterson. I will not comment on Mr. Flores' guilt. I will, however, note the prosecution is seems woefully unprepared to successfully make any charges stick at this time. This not especially helped to measure the matter there that there appears to be major conflict of interest between the strongest witness and the defendant. At this time, we'll declare mistrial. Ha! Don't celebrate prematurely, Mr. Sullivan. I'm gonna form a bar about your conduct. Eh, they'll get over it. No, Just Hood is right. I'll be careful if I were you, Sullivan. And I'll come up with a better place to deal with my enemies if I were you. Oh, what the? Don't push your luck. We've been playing soft, I promise, for a long time. But we'll go back to the way things used to be if you don't stop. This time, make sure no sure of it that there are no Flores left. Flores trial sham. Illinois solved false charges. It was Lord Defense Lawyers. Sullivan, the city's city attorneys, returned some of the post exile on Holland. You fled the city, need two decades for your retaliation. To Chief Mob Don said you've been caught firing him. Only time Chief of Police, the Unoval Kilney, near Leonardo, was the real of a court beef at the Leonardo crime family. Valcone, yeah. As the to me, the city council would like to not to fire chief. Someone's for pro Valcone, Chet will kill the operator, and support some respect. There's no computers that participate in. Wow, it was almost, it was almost a split. Dang!